Good evening, and welcome to True Doug Man Encounters. I'm your host, Marvin Allen. If you or anybody that you've known have had a sighting and would like for me to share it on my channel, please contact me. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the link below. Like, comment, and share. As y'all know, I've been giving y'all Ty J's um, encounters. Um, we on part three. I'm going to do um, the second episode. And I'm just trying to break them down, you know, just to keep y'all going and just to keep y'all with something to hear because she's amazing. Um, I did talk to her. Um, she has said that she will come on the show when I don't know. And I don't want to seem like I'm pressuring her to come on there because she's doing me a favor and I'm grateful and I'm blessed that she's doing this. Um, um, like I said, I got a um, Facebook page. It's alive. So my subscribers, support the channel. Please go over there and join. Even if you don't listen to it. You can listen to it on YouTube. But even if you don't listen to the live, go over there and support the page. You know, continue to help support me. Um, like I said, what can I say um, about this young lady, man? She just, She's just amazing. And like I said, her story is just... One in a million. And I'm just so thankful that I had the opportunity for her to share her encounters with me. That's why I said, stop thinking about the impossible and think about the possible. Because we don't know what's possible out here. We don't know why they chose her. We don't know why they was attracted to her. We don't know the answers. She don't know the answers. She's still trying to find out. She is just so grateful that she did what a lot of people didn't do. You know, maybe they pick certain people. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. But I'm going to keep searching until I do. So without further ado... Let's jump right into Ty J's encounter. Third part, episode two, the loss of an alpha. Like Ty J was saying to her grandmother, she said that she was telling her, you know, she talked to him, um, you know, and um, he was walking funny, you know what I mean? So Ty J said a couple of days had passed. You know, when she didn't get that feeling or nothing like that. So she said around the fourth day, Ty J said she gets up, get herself together. Because her and her grandmother was going to town, to, um, you know, to get some things. So she said she goes, you know, they riding in town. She said she's just looking in the woods. She's just trying to get that feeling. You know, so they go in town, get what they had to get. And they head back home. Now, Ty J said... When they was going back home, they seen this truck coming from up near where her grandmother's house at. But she said she don't know if they was on her grandmother's property. But she said they probably was. But the one thing that she did say, they not going to come around when somebody else is there. So that's a good thing. So Ty J and her grandmother take the stuff in the house, you know, and they put it away. Ty J goes in the living room and she sits down and, you know, she watches TV. So grandmother said, um, I'm going to go ahead in here and um, take a nap. So Ty J said, um, okay, you want me to wake you up? She said, no, I'm a, um, I'll just um, set my alarm. So that's what the grandmother did. Ty J said she continued to sit down and watch TV. Now, while she was sitting down watching TV, her grandmother had, like, some, you know, plants just sitting on the back porch. So, Ty J said she hear one fall, boom, and it breaks. So, she jumps up because she's startled now because she don't know what it is. So, she says she creeps out the living room and she head towards the back door. Now, mind you, she said her grandmother had, like, a... A diamond shaped thing on the back door. What 
just so you can look out. So Dad J says she looks out the back little window on the door. She said that's when she see that gray creature. She see this gray creature and she said it's sniffing around. She said she got this little chair out there that she sit in. And she said she watched this creature sniff the seat where she sit in. I mean, she said it was literally just sniffing it and sniffing all around it. She said then it came over to the back of the house on the porch. And she could still hear this thing sniffing. And she said it was sniffing hard too. She said she's still peeking out the window. She said she did not know that this thing stood up. She said, but as she was looking out the window, this thing pops his gigantic head and look through that little window and it looks at Ty J. Ty J said she just gasped like, huh? she said she couldn't scream or nothing. She said she was just startled. And she said this thing just showed his teeth and started growling. And she said she just backed up. She said she backed up and moved from the door. She said that's when she noticed that this creature must have just dropped down on all fours and ran. She said because she can, she say that's how heavy this thing was. Because she can hear this thing running away. She said she don't go back to look out that window just yet. She said she waited about five or ten minutes because she said she was stuck there when she stepped back. Then she goes and look out the window. It's gone. Tajay goes in her grandmother's room and she says she sits on, you know, the edges of her edges of bed. So her grandmother felt that when she sat down, she woke up and said, What's wrong? You okay? She said, Grandma, I seen that gray one again. She said, Huh? She said, I seen that gray one again. And it was up on the porch. She said, What? She said, Yeah, mine was up on the porch. And it was sniffing around. She said, I'm really scared for the other ones. Because this one is really big. So grandmother said, um, well, I'm getting ready to get up. I'm going to go in there and fix you something to eat. And, um, you know, and just try to get some sleep. So that's what they did. Grandmother fixed up something to eat. Ty J said she ate. And she went there and laid down. She said she didn't get that feeling. Next day she wakes up. She said she just sat up in bed because she kept on thinking this great creature been on her porch, sniffing around. Now she's scared. Now she really want to see these other creatures. Tajay goes, get up. She get herself together. Tajay goes in there. Grandma already got her food ready. She eats. And she goes in there, sit down, and she watches TV. She say, time, clicking, passing, passing by, passing by. So she says she looked over at this little, you know, clock that her grandmother had sitting in there. And she had looked at the time. And she said the time had said 6.42. Now, she said it wasn't dark outside, but she knew it was getting ready to get dark pretty soon. So she gets up. And she walks to the back door. She don't open the door. She just looks out of it. She says she's staying there for 45 minutes looking out the door. Taj said just when she was about to turn around and leave, boom, she get that feeling. She gets that feeling. Now she know that these creatures are around. She looks out. Out the peephole. She's still looking out that little window. The peephole. The little window thing. She's still looking out of that. And she's watching. She's looking straight up in the tree line. She said that's. When she see. The two young ones. They coming out. They on all fours. Then she see. The alpha. Come out. On all fours. Tajay said she sat and stood in that doorway and looked out that window. And she started to smile because she knew they was all right. 
So Ty J said she just watched them for a while. She said they just stood there on all fours. You had the alpha in the middle, she said, and he had his two kids on each end. And they just standing there, not doing nothing. They standing there, and she said they started to sniff. They started to sniff. She said that's when she see one of the young ones go and start urinating around by the trees and stuff to mark that territory because technically Ty J said it's theirs because they was there first. So Ty J said she's still looking out the um peephole. She leaves from the back door and she goes in her room and she sits on the bed. She still got the feeling she know they out there. Ty J said after sitting there for about 20 more minutes, she looks up because she said she had her head down. She looks up and she see the alpha male standing at her window. Ty J said she gets up and she goes over there and stands at the window. She said, but when she looks in his face, he don't look the same. She said he don't look the same. She said he don't look big like he was, like he lost weight. And she said she was concerned about him. So she said this thing did something that really touched her heart. She said this thing put his hand up on the window. And then she put her small hand up there. And she said she started to cry. And she said the tears just rolling down. She said because she can look in this thing eyes and in his face. And see that this thing got feelings and emotions too. She said she don't know how, but she could tell. She said that's when this alpha took his hand down. And it turned and it started to walk away. She said as it, as it was walking away, she noticed the two kids out there standing and looking into the tree line. They standing, looking into the tree line. Then they both look back. They both look back at the alpha and then turn back around. The alpha get up there where they was at and drops to all fours and it starts to walk off. Now she said, mind you, she said the other two stayed on twos and they walked. They walked bipedal. Why the alpha walked on quads. And she said he wasn't walking like he used to. Ty J leaves from the window and she runs and go to the back door, opens it, and she goes on the back porch. She stands there. One of the young ones looked back. And it looked at Ty J. And then it turned back around and it continued to walk back up in the tree line. They walking. Ty J said that's when she heard this loud howl coming from the left of the wood line. She said that's when she could see this gray creature appear. And when it appeared, all of those three black Dugmans, they stopped. That gray creature came out. Onto a grandmother property. And it stood up. The alpha. Turned. And faced in that direction. Still on all fours. While the other two young ones. One on each side of him. Still standing bipedal. Ty J says she just watching. She's hoping and praying. That this gray one don't attack. But she said this gray one did something that she remember that brown one doing. She said it started to run, but then it stopped in its tracks like 
Boom. I mean, it, she said it stopped instantly. And then it started growling. That's when the two black ones started to walk towards this gray creature. Now, Tay Tajay watching. She watching. But they still not bigger than this gray one. And she don't want them to get hurt. But they walking towards this gray creature. Tajay watching as they walk. And she said they just stopped. They stopped and they looked back at the alpha male. And when they looked back at the alpha male, she said that alpha male made some kind of sound. She said she don't know what it was. She can't explain it. It made some kind of sound. And they turned and walked back down there and stood on each side of him, still watching this great creature. She said after about a minute, because it didn't last long, that great creature turned. And she said this thing took like two leaps and was back up into the tree line. And it dropped down to all fours because she could hear it running, running, running through the wood line. She said that's when the alpha looked back and it looked over at her. And then turned and then they all went back up into the tree line. They went to the right. They walked with their alpha and went to the right. And they just disappeared within the tree line. Ty J said she turned and she went in the house. She went in the house and she said she went in her room and she sat on the bed. And she started crying. And she said she was sitting there thinking to herself. She said that was close. Because that thing could have attacked. And if it attacked this time. It could have really hurt him. So she said she wind up falling asleep. Next day come, she don't get that feeling. Three more days pass, they get another knock at the door again. And it's the sheriff. This time, the two men are with him. So she opens the door and says, yes, can I help you? Um, we still getting calls that y'all got these big dugs out here. Ty J said, I'm telling you, we don't have no big dugs out here. That's when one of the guys said they do because we shot one. But I don't know what kind of dug these is because this dug was standing up. And Ty J just looking at this guy say, what? You lying, you lying, you lying. Ty J said she got loud. She said that's when her grandmother came in and said, what all this noise? What are y'all doing back in my house? Police said, look, we got another call that these, these large dugs is out here on your property. She said, they are not on my properties. I don't know what you're talking about. The only animals out here on my property is the wildlife, the animals that are supposed to be here. And Ty J said, Grandma, He's lying. He just told this officer that he seen one and it was standing up. I don't know what he's doing. He lying. She said, why would you do that? Why would you say that? Why would you lie like that? He said, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I saw one of them things. I saw one of them things. She said, look, I'm going to ask you to leave, please. You've been back there. You didn't see nothing. Just please leave my home. So after they going back and forth, back and forth, they finally, they, they leaves. You know, when they leave, Ty J said, Grandma, I'm getting scared for these creatures. Because I don't know. They might come out here when it's nighttime and we sleep and start going through the woods. So mind you, Ty J grandmother had these sensor lights out there. But she, she never used them. She had no reason. She never used them. So what she started doing, she said she's going to cut them on. So she can tell when something is on her property. And that's what she did. So they sit around. Tajay says she's talking to her grandmother. 
And she was telling her grandma, she said, um, Grandma, I just don't want nothing to happen to him. I don't. That gray one is way too big. And I know it's going to hurt him. So she said, baby, I'm sure that they can take care of their self. So don't worry. It's not too much that you can do. You know, it's not too much you can do. So stop worrying yourself. So I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to upload this one. And y'all get ready for part three, episode three. See you on the next Ty J's Encounter.